So, we're here at Train in Westfield, Indiana. Luke just got back from the Dominican Republic for his wedding, and he's re ramping up for this upcoming off season. Usually right after season, I like to have all my players, no matter what level, take six months, or sorry, six weeks to like two months off, just to not focus on their sport, not to worry about training. And then after that, slowly get back into it. Um, Luke's season ended about, what, five, four, five weeks ago? Yeah. Around that time. Took about four days off, and then asked for like a two week program just to get back into, you know, like off season mode. Lots of stretching. Lots of stretching, just correctives. Work on the stuff that was nagging. Yeah, and then pretty much from that time till now, we've just kind of done whatever straight up bro sesh stuff. So um, a lot of his work has been eight by eight German volume training just straight hypertrophy work, uh, building on that ligament and joint resiliency so that when we actually do get into training and OTAs, um, you know, we're not too worried about the stress and the volume of actual strength training that he's doing. So today's training session was predominantly upper body based, a lot of pushing and pulling. Um, and then we did a fun little conditioning piece at the end. We won't really get into anything structured until next week and then we'll have about two weeks of solid just foundational training working on like low level sprint mechanics so like heavy slight pushes uh just you know bulletproofing hamstrings low back still working on hypertrophy work and then we're both going to california for a wedding we'll come back have another two weeks of training and then we're going to iceland uh for a week and then after that ota start and then during otas i kind of view that as just kind of like a you're like testing week to the like the true off season in the summer. You know, Luke does a good job communicating with me what he's doing at OTA so that when he does come in in the afternoon, we're not hitting the same thing. It's usually just a lot more conditioning based, but then it's also like, hey, you know, on the 300 yard shuttle, I did this, I did that. Um, we did these power cleans. This is what my heart rate levels look like throughout training. Um, so again, it gives me a good idea of what we need to work on leading up to season and then, we won't start snapping until around mid OTAs or after OTAs. And then right Team. before. We start doing punt work and field work, mid OTAs. Yeah. We'll pick up a ball again after Iceland. Yeah, we'll snap here. Back. And then usually right before uh, mini camp, we just go two weeks of two a days where we'll straight train in the morning. Train camp. Uh, sorry, yeah, training camp uh, yeah. in July. So we'll do strength work in the morning and then we'll go to Grand Park, which is less than a mile away, do some running and sprint work. Uh, really low level stuff just to, you know, make sure that we're not overdoing it. Um, that's pretty much what we're doing right now. And then I think my goal with this series is just kind of give you guys some insight to how I prep athletes leading up to the season, breaking down each training block and training cycle so that if you are following at home or, you know, you don't have a great training program, you can at least get the general principles behind each training block and set up your own training to mimic that of, you know, what I do with my athletes, no matter what their age group. Do um, you have anything, Luke? Yeah, I mean, Justin and I have been working together for a little, little over two, a year. Two years now. Two years now, yeah. And, uh, you know, Justin's done a great job keeping me injury free, like while, while in the gym, while training, and then even throughout the season with the, the you know um, how taxing a season is on your body you know when we're training in season it's a lot of hey how do you feel today how do you so a lot of it goes back to communication with Jess and how my body feels and how he tailors my program if if I really can't do power cleans today but it's on a program we'll figure something else out to do yeah. so but yeah right now we're just trying to get back into the rhythm of being in the gym and being on the field and once we get back after our couple of vacations we have coming up really start buckling down because then OTA start and you know football again starts up again so we got to be back in the season mode and yeah right now we're just growing out lots of pump sessions looking good on the beach and yeah sleeveless hoodie weather is in full swing training with no shirts on yeah so we're excited to bring you some content some like behind the scenes looks uh, we might even do like a cooking show with some Q&A stuff where if you have questions for Luke or myself about training or just a life of a pro athlete, um, 
we'll answer those and we'll also show you how like we kind of take care of nutrition throughout the off season and leading into season because you know you want to be able to carry some body fat but not a lot you want to look good because fat don't flex um, it also helps with your joints and inflammation yeah so we're excited to bring you guys some content something fun something different and we uh, hope you enjoy it